championship of the world. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of Frede Cordoba, Argentina, weighing in at 159 and 1 quarter pounds, with a professional record of 65 wins, three defeats, two draws, with 42 KOs. He's rated number two in the world by the WBC. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the Hammer. One, Domingo Roldan. And in the red corner, from Detroit, Michigan, weighing 159 and one half pounds. His political record consists of 44 wins, two defeats, with 37 KOs. He is rated number one in the world by the WBC. He is seeking his fourth world title. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Thomas, the hitman, Earl. in the dressing room, and I assume everybody knows what they are. But check yourself at all times. Any questions for Mr. Hearns or a chief second? Any questions for Mr. Roldan or a chief second? Let's get it on. Come on. Here you go. Lane, the DA from Reno in Nevada. Let's get it on. And we wait to see if Hearns can do something spectacular a la Roberto Duran when he blew his man away with that devastating right hand. Or if the rough, tough farmer's boy from Argentina has the armory to get through to Hearns, who might just be slightly over his prime. And it's a very aggressive start from Roldan, who I remember started this way against Marvin Hagler and bossed the first couple of rounds until he picked up an eye injury. But Roldan only knows one way to fight, and that is coming forward. Often crude, no real defense. Fights in flurries, damaging his opponents wearing people down and Hans gets the big right in early on and he's got him in the first he's got him in the first Hans he's going to try and make history here and it's history being repeated because Duran was bombed early on now can he come back here Roldan Hans has got his measure he's got his distance a buzz around the car park here at the Hilton Hotel. Well, Roldan has thrown caution to the wind, paid the penalty, but he came back with a right hand of his own, and as a wrestling match, I think they're both slightly stunned because Roldan came back with a good right hand of his own. It's just like Hearns and Hagler when they had that war for the middleweight title when Hearns came out on the receiving end. But he got in so early minutes ago in the first round little uppercut coming in from Roldan who is desperate to show he's got something left but Hearns will be bucked by that he said he was going to finish it early he said it wouldn't last beyond five rounds at the very most and he's done massive damage in the first round and he's been backed away onto the ropes Hearns kept his tracksuit bottoms on, a bit like a sprinter, a bit like a Carl Lewis, if you like, on a cool evening. But just like the great athlete that he is, he got straight into his work in devastating style. Roldan with those big clubbing awkward punches, another good right comes in from Hearns, and he's something of a sitting target for that one. And again, little left this time. Brilliant round for Hearns. And he's got him again. 
and he might not he might not beat the count he can't be saved by the bell except in the last round Mills Lane takes him back to his corner what a start to what could be a historical night here Rolled down in all sorts of bother in his corner. The man in there is Tito Lectore, who looked after the great Carlos Monzon. Rolled down his standings. That surprises me. But he's been placed very firmly on the seat of his pants twice. Well, he took a tremendous right hand, bang on the chin. He must have been shocked, but it certainly didn't change his mind any. He really goes down. It looked at this stage as if there was no way he would beat the count. But I'm surprised they didn't have him sitting down because they had some recovery work to do on him. But they left him standing uh, during the break between the two rounds here. But they must feel he's uh, recovered. But he's going to have to tighten up. He threw caution to the wind, paid the penalty twice. He's going to have to tighten up. He can't get away with this too often. Been an awesome start by Thomas Hearns. Roll then down twice and in trouble in the very opening round, in deep trouble too. And now we look to Hearns to keep unloading. And he's got him with a little chopping hook. That one was down for the third time. Roll down up very quickly. But he keeps popping up Mills Lane, counting very deliberately. How much more of this can Roldan take? He won't vary his tactics because he can't. Whoever said Hearns might lose his punching power after going up in the weights and then coming down and having to take off nearly a stone will be looking very embarrassed at the moment. That right hand shot is still the most potent single blow in boxing for my money. Well, Dan is always aggressive, he's always crude, but normally he boxes behind a, a solid defence. But he hasn't done that tonight. He's just taken every chance possible to take. He's paid three times already, but he's not changing his ideas at all. He's just standing in there trying to land one big lucky bomb. And he looks awfully tired, Roll Dan, although we're only in the second. Explosive action in the open air on this cool Nevada evening. This means so much to Hearns. People have accused him of freezing on the big occasions, the really big ones, that is. He wants acclamation, he wants to do what no other fighter has done. And he's made a great start down that road to history. Never right roll that off. You've always got to give him a fighter's chance. Hearns needs a little bit of space to throw the powerful shots. Maybe Rodan feels if he gets up close, uh, Hearns can't get the leverage. But three times he's made the mistake and paid for it. But he's still trying to keep close and rough Hearns up. He's, this is obviously the tactics he has to use. But uh, they're not really working for him yet, although he's gotten so back into the fight here. He's got to get inside that telescopic jab that Hearns has got and people in the next state really accurate and sharp and of course ever mindful of that threat to the right as well Roll Dan is a courageous fellow he knows no fear and he's got a big heart as he showed against Marvin Hagler and he's showing once again here Well, a better round for Roldan, who amazingly is still standing up in his corner. A much better round for him, although it didn't start too well at all. Burns dumped him with a big right hand. This is the this is the knockdown. Yes, that was a knockdown from the first. They just showed us there. This, of course, is the second. Thought it was a little left hook, and indeed it was. 
Take your time. Take your time. Get the jab to working good. Jab to working good when you line him up with that right hand. Well, as a 15-year-old, Roldan once went two rounds with a bear, a 500-pound bear that wore padded-up gloves. He was cut by a claw. They patched the bear up, but Roldan went two rounds and collected $10. And he must feel as though he's in there with that sort of fighting animal again, because Hearns has been quite brilliant and has shown his claws early on. And he's done more than scratch Roldan. Roldan has a better technique than he showed in the first two rounds, Jim. It just really, he was boxing very amateurishly in the, the first round, just throwing caution to the wind, big silly swings. But now he's tightened up a little bit. He's moving in half a step at a time, and here he has the uh, hairs under a little bit of pressure. But this is more like the technique we expect from Roldan. He doesn't do anything exceptionally well, but he has a good professional technique, and he did not use it in the first two rounds. This is interesting now. Never write him off, Roldan. He'll, ne he'll never give you an easy fight. Bit of hitting on the break there, hitting and holding both of them, and Mills Lane will have a word. Roldan first to score, though. Now Hearns, did the legs go a little bit rubbery there? Was there a little skid, perhaps? He has the reputation, Hearns, if you hit him right, he'll go. I know Dennis Andres always thought he had him down right towards the end of that momentous fight in Detroit, although there wasn't a count. Oh, that was a good shot from Hearns again. I think Hearns is doing the wrong thing here. He's putting too much power into these punches. He could land jabs and get out of trouble and win the rounds and just wait for his chances. But here he's put himself in trouble. He's letting Roldan get too close to him. And uh, this is suiting Roldan. This is not the way Tommy Hearns should be going about things. Fine recovery from Roldan. They're fighting for the title vacated by Sugar Ray Leonard. Roldan is throwing those little clubbing punches and this has been a bad round for Hearns. I get the feeling he wants to end it spectacularly. I think he's relying far too much on power here. He has the ability, he has all the, the physical advantages, but he's not using them. He's trying to blast Roldan out. It was working in the first couple of rounds, but now it's time to think about things and change. This is a street fight now. The technique has gone out of the window. It's come on, I'll see you outside time. And I know back in the corner when he gets back there, Certainly Hearns' his corner with Emmanuel Stewart will say this is not the sort of fight we want. But Roldan with Tito Lectore in there will say that's much better. Roldan claims to be the only man who to ever, ever put Marvin Hagler down. There was a count early on in that fight. But I must say, I thought at the time it was a slip. And I still stand by that assessment. Right, right. And you're in good shape, in great shape. Okay, now get out and box him a little bit more. Okay. You're not putting nothing in front of him. Just endorsing what we were saying there. The words from Emmanuel Stewart go out there and box him a bit more. This is another terrific boxing occasion here in Las Vegas. Burns getting over a million dollars. Roldan a quarter of a million. But he knows that riches await him if he manages to be the man to stop Tommy Hearns from making history. He's got him with a left and Hearns' his legs have gone rubbery again. And Hearns is trapped in Roldan's corner. Turns his legs all over the shop. We said don't write Roldan off. And he's come bulldozing his way back into this fight. 
Matt Hearns has severe problems. He's trying to fight his way out of them. Minute gone. Round four. Now Hearns looks to turn the table. And he's got him with a right. What a fight this is. The crowd are on the edge of their seats here. One moment, Hearns looks as though he's got severe problems. And then he turns it right round again. That punch from Hearns was as good as the punches that, that scored the knockdowns, but Rodan seems to have warmed a little bit more to the task now, and he's taken those shots. That was a tremendous right hand. I expected Rodan to go over from that one. Well, it's, it was a difficult fight to call. A lot of different views around the bars and hotels here in Las Vegas. The bookmakers made Hearns a favourite. Roldan's corner disagreed with it and put $50,000 on there, man. But that money looks gone now. And surely Roldan, even the brave man, can't get up from that. Hearns is seconds away from history. He's out. Hearns has done it. His fourth world title in sensational style. The one that he really wanted. Hearns is an all-time great and what a fantastic four rounds we've had here in Las Vegas he's on top of the world he's done it in spectacular style as well he's always lived a bit in the shadows of Leonard and Hagler but he's done what no other boxer has ever done. World champion at four weights. Thomas, the hitman, earns from Detroit.